Hey, Jessica, how are you today? <laughs> I'm doing good. How are you doing? Doing good. Are you uh, like a movie star? You got your sunglasses <laughs> on today. What's going on? Um, I just the sun. Uh, we have to film outside today because I am redoing my office, and it is there's nothing in my office right now, <laughs> so um, I can't see without my sunglasses. So okay, so sunglasses. that's why you're outside. That's why we're outside. We actually took down all the wallpaper and everything in my office, so it was a mess, and it's at the point where it's going to get put back together. So next week, we'll be back in my office, in my brand new office. Okay, well, we're back with more uncomfortable questions, and we've got some great ones this week. I think everybody's going to love them. Okay, our first one is from Lee D. She says, I am still struggling with toilet training my female toy poodle, who is one year old. Old. We've been trying to since she was eight weeks old. She has her spot to go outside, but often chooses to go both pee and poop inside. We get no warning behavior from her. We use a urine neutralizer, take her out often, and she's been checked by a vet. She is a very bright dog and can learn fast with everything but this. We are desperate. Okay, Jessica, so what do you got to say to Lee D? Uh, Lee, I completely understand, and I actually get potty training questions almost daily in my group. Um, if you're not a member of the group, go ahead, and there is a link in the description. I encourage you to join because not only are there thousands of other pet parents just like you in the group who can help and offer support and advice, um, as well as myself being in the group, I also have a file in the group about potty training that breaks it down step by step what you need to do to potty train your dog and it sounds like you are on the right track but there is one really crucial step that so many people overlook and that is managing your dog's environment and I talk about that quite a bit in the potty training video in the beginner dog training series if you haven't watched the beginner dog training series there is a link to the playlist in the description below I highly recommend you go through the uh, playlist and once you get to the potty training video you'll have a really good foundation in place and understand what I mean by managing your dog's environment so many times even if your dog does go out in potty especially at such a young age especially when they aren't completely potty trained a lot of dogs will actually go twice so people see their dogs go potty and let them right back inside and then they potty again. And so we, we have to really monitor our dog. We have to really manage their environment. And if they don't potty outside, then you have to put them in a safe space that isn't a timeout space. That's not what I mean. But a space where they can, if they have to potty and they potty in there, it's fine. You may have some puppy pads down. Um, and try again in 15 minutes until they potty. It's really key. You, it, it takes some time. It takes practice. It takes a lot of patience, but you can do it. It's just all about managing your dog's environment. Okay, great. I appreciate that. That should be really helpful. Okay, we've got another question here from Joyful Bloom. Was wondering how often to brush my dog's teeth. Also, what toothpaste to use. I've been using a ratio of one-to-one -one baking soda and coconut oil. Are these ingredients safe for daily use? Do you think, I think they mean they, will clean the plaque off my dog's teeth better than store-bought dog toothpaste? Appreciate your help. What do you got to say to that, Jessica? Absolutely. So a lot of people use a combination of baking soda and coconut oil, and it's a good place to start. Um, as far as how often you need to brush your dog's teeth, it really depends on your dog. And what I actually want to say to anybody who is watching this, and to you as well, um, feeding your dog a raw food diet, feeding them a fresh food diet, um, allowing them to chew on raw meaty bones, and we talked about what bones are okay to feed your dog and what bones are not okay to feed your dog in another Uncomfortable Questions video, so I, I will link that in the description below. But allowing your dog to chew on raw meaty bones uh, recreationally is going to provide a lot of uh, dental hygiene for your dog. In so many cases, you'll, because this is a very natural thing for your dog to do, to chew on bones. So when they do chew on these raw meaty bones, it's, 
is nature's way of cleaning their teeth. So oftentimes you won't have to clean your dog's teeth at all as long as you are providing them uh, with these raw meaty bones to chew on to clean their teeth. Um, however, if you do need to supplement, then really just coconut oil alone along with um, some Animalio essential oil. I really recommend dog breath. If you mix a few drops of that in with your coconut oil, and I'll link, I'll, I'll link that in the description below as well so that you can uh, look up that product. But really just the coconut oil alone with the dog breath is really going to help if you do need to supplement in um, uh, brushing your dog's teeth. The baking soda is okay, but it can be abrasive. It can be a little too abrasive depending on your dog and the state of their teeth. Again, every dog is different and the state of their teeth is going to be very different. So that can be very abrasive. It's I, I, A lot of people use it, so I wouldn't say, oh no, this is horrible, don't use it. Uh, but it's not completely necessary and can be quite abrasive, especially if used um, regularly and over a long period of time. So uh, switching to giving your dog a raw food diet, feeding them raw meaty bones so that they, they can naturally clean their teeth, um, that's really going to be the best route that you can take with your dog in their dental hygiene. Awesome. I know that's going to be helpful. Yeah. Okay. okay, our next question is from Sonia Dudley. Sonia. She says, I guess you watched one of your videos, thank you so much for doing this video and all the others I just found. You. I have four dogs and have been researching the best diet for my dogs. So happy I found this and will be ordering the book. I love my dogs more than anything. All rescues the most recent two weeks ago. He was in the home for four days with my murdered friend. Oh my God. Before he was found. He is getting along great with my dogs and seems to be getting happier every day. Any tips for me as I have rescued many dogs but never this situation? Thank you again for those videos. I just want them to be as happy and healthy as possible. Well, Sonia, thank you so much, first of all, for rescuing and for taking in your friend's dog. Um, and for, of course, watching my videos on YouTube. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you for watching. And um, it is, I would think, a pretty rare situation that you're in and um, unfortunate for your dog. And again, thank you for taking them in. I can only imagine the trauma that this dog has gone through. Um, so as far as what you can do to help this dog along, I, he, you know, we don't know what he went through. Being alone in his home with his owner who was murdered um, for four days, that whole thing had to be incredibly traumatic. So we, you know, we don't know what kind of mental state um, he's in currently. So the only thing that I would recommend is, of course, you know, make sure that you are in contact with your veterinarian for anything that may come up with this dog and um, make sure that they are in good health physically. Patience, positivity, um, a lot of patience is what I would say. Let's make sure we are not pushing this dog to their threshold, meaning pushing them into a situation that they are uncomfortable with because we don't know how they're going to react to it. Um, I, I mean, that, that's, that's kind of the basis for positive training anyway, is not to push a dog past their threshold. But especially in this case, I would say let's, let's be very aware and, and pay very close attention to his body language and make sure we aren't pushing them into a, a, a zone that's uncomfortable for him. Um, and reward. Um, anytime he is acting like a normal dog, anytime he's calm, anytime he is engaging in group activities or um, just being there calmly with you, anything that a normal, quote unquote, normal dog would be doing, make sure to reward that behavior because we want, we want him to know that we're here for him, that, that, that you're there for him, that um, the, the behaviors that you want to see are these calm uh, behaviors, these behaviors of being in the group and being part of the family. So make sure even even the things that you you would never consider rewarding other dogs for, something that is just so routine and, and mundane, let's make sure to reward that so that we can uh, instill what 
what we think of as normal for for your dog or what you think of as normal for your dog that we really instill that that's that's the positive thing for him to be doing and uh yeah so patience and rewarding that positive behavior that's a really great answer i gotta, I gotta tell you i gotta tell you jessica we really appreciate you doing this i know you're sitting in the hot sun i am sitting in the hot yeah, sun it's <laughs> outside you're so devoted to people who follow you uh, online through social media and you want to help them out so I know that's why you do this. Absolutely, 100%. It's all about the dogs and making sure that they are living their best lives and that you're there to give them their best lives. That's what that's what all this is about. Okay guys, so if you do have questions about one of your pets, post it in the comment section there. Let us know what the problems you're having. Let us know the questions you have. Jessica will be more than happy to help you. And if Jessica, they want to get more information, what should they do if they want to get more information? Absolutely. So I do have a book, as Sonia mentioned in her post, I do have a book that you can grab. It is the foundation of everything I teach my in-home clients. Uh, before we move on to anything else, this foundational material is what I teach them. Uh, the link for that book is in the description below. I also have online video training courses. So if you need additional help, maybe something that's really super specific or something that you need more assistance with with your dog, I have video training available to you. It walks you through everything you need to do. I will also link that in the description below. And I have a free resource that I highly recommend everybody joining. Uh, I have a group. So go ahead and join the family. It is completely free to you. There are thousands of other pet parents that are already in the group and waiting for you to join. And I have tons of files in this group that are completely free to you, uh, which give you a lot of really great information for training your dog, for feeding your dog, for different behaviors. So I highly recommend you check that out. Again, that is completely free to you. And that link is also in the description below. Uh, I really want to say thank you so much for being here. And if you do have any questions, comment in the in the comments below. Make sure to post your comment uh, because I am answering your questions. As you can see in this video, if you post a comment, if you have a question, I am answering you. And uh, I really, I really hope that you do because maybe you're asking a question that somebody else is too afraid to ask or too scared to ask or too uncomfortable for them to ask and it needs to get answered. So not only will you be helping yourself, you will be helping other people as well. Um, if you haven't already, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you look down there at that subscribe button and it is red, go ahead and click it. Make sure you click that subscribe button and then it will turn gray. When that happens, a bell will appear. Click the bell, select all notifications. That way YouTube can notify you every single time I post a new video. You never miss another great video. Again, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you for watching and I will see you in our next video.